Hi, my name is Derek Carrera. I'm the founder of Habit Camera, and I'm excited to show you how the Habit Camera works. Uh, so I'm gonna unbox this uh, as part of our demonstration and walk through all the steps necessary to, to be able to use the Habit Camera in your day-to-day -day life. So once the Habit Camera arrives, you can remove the sleeve, open the packaging. There'll be two trays inside with various components of the system. And so you can pull those out and set them wherever you need to in order to get started. You'll also need a tablet or smartphone with the Habit Camera application downloaded on that. So we'll show you how to do that as well. Components of the system, you'll see the camera, which is magnetically attached to a flexible gooseneck handle. It can also be used standalone configuration as well. The flexible gooseneck, which has this gooseneck feature, also a telescoping handle, kind of like a selfie stick. We also have a rubber strap, which can be used as part of uh, this handle for anybody with limited dexterity or, or they may need extra assistance, want to relax their hand. And the USB-C charging cable. Now the second packaging in the bottom half of the package, you'll have the floor stand or tabletop stand and the suction cup mount, which can be used for a wall, either glass, mirror, any other suction cup uh, attachment that you want to use. And then lastly, the, the AC outlet adapter for the USB-C charging cable. All of the mounts are designed to be interoperable with the Habit camera. And so that when you mount it on any one of these, it'll magnetically attach. And then also you can adjust the angle uh, as desired. So it operates in 45 degree angles. So you can rotate it if you need to, whether it's on the floor stand or the suction cup mount uh, or uh, the flexible gooseneck handle. And so that's how the accessories work. This is very similar to any other suction cup that you may see from other products, but uh, you just attach it to the surface you want to attach it to, and then use this uh, feature, this lever basically to create suction, uh, enabling the habit camera to be mounted that way. You also have this uh, rotating knob so that if you need to adjust the angle of the camera, you can, and then you can just screw it back down as required. Then to obviously to, to remove this from any sort of glass or mirror, just need to release the suction and pull on this tab for the mount. Floor stand's very easy to use. It has some weight to it, which helps to balance and stabilize the camera. And so you just can attach the camera to it and then adjust the angle. This is particularly helpful if you're uh, trying to look at the bottom of your feet or somewhere that you wanna uh, mount this on the floor, potentially at your back if you, you, know, you have a table or something like that uh, that you wish to use. And then lastly, we'll go into a little bit more depth about the handle and the flexible gooseneck. And so when you uncurl this, you usually can mount it so that it faces the same way that the logos are aligned and so this can fit into your hand quite nicely. Uh, you can also rotate it as we mentioned, different angles, different degrees, depending upon exactly what you're trying to look at. Um, but for the most part, keeping the logos aligned is a good place to start. Uh, and what this enables you to do is you can adjust this with the gooseneck in varying fashions, extend it so that whether it's on the back half of your body or the bottoms of your feet or any, any uh, part of the body that's hard to see, you can adjust this. You may or may not need to extend it fully uh, depending upon how tall or, or where you're looking at, but, but in general, um, this is how the flexible gooseneck and the handle works. And then lastly, uh, the strap that I'll demonstrate as well briefly. Uh, you can just slide this over on one end and then slide it over on the other end uh, and make any adjustments so that when you're holding this, if you have limited dexterity, you can fully relax your fingers and still still be able to, to use this device. And so uh, you can either mount it on that portion or if you have smaller hands, you may be able to, to, to use another variation of the straps and the holes there. So it's a little bit tighter depending upon your preference. And so those are the components of the Habit camera. 
And now I'll show you how to use the camera itself and the features that are uh, part of the device. And so first one, what you'll see is the, the power on and off switch. And so you can see there's a small red dot there indicating that the camera is off. There's also a status LED just above that. And so if the status LED is not blinking or not on, and you see the red, obviously it's in the, the off position. To switch it on, you just slide the power button up. And what you'll see is you'll see uh, the LED start to blink, which means it's starting to try to connect using a Wi-Fi connection on your smartphone or your tablet application. And then you'll also see at the bottom, you can tell it's still on because there's a, a green dot underneath that switch, which will remain on. The other two portions of the device that I'll show you as well is there's a LED on and off button here on the back. And so when I push this, you'll see a small ring light turn on. This can be adjusted in the app, which I'll show you in a second as well. But this is the LED on and off button. And then while the camera's on, this top button is what we call the snapshot button. And so if you were using this in a handheld configuration and you want to press the button, it'll actually take a picture of whatever the camera is looking at at that time. So brief review of the features. There's the power switch for on and off, the status LED, the camera itself with the ring light, the LED ring light, and then two buttons, the LED on and off button and the snapshot button. Lastly, uh, I for forgot to point out, but I'll point out the, the USB-C port for charging. So this can use our standard USB-C charging cable to charge with any AC outlet. And then at the bottom, as I showed with some of the other uh, attachments, there's the magnetic attachment uh, and the rotation feature for the camera. And so that's the, the use of the device. Uh, I'll go ahead and power on the app now with the tablet and demonstrate how we can connect the device and actually use the Habit camera with your smartphone, your tablet. So the Habit camera app is available in the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. You can put it on any Android or iOS smart device, mobile device, uh, and just connect using your Wi-Fi. And so because it connects using your Wi-Fi, what happens is uh, you can't use the internet when you're using the Habit camera because this acts as basically as a router or Wi-Fi connection. The reason we use Wi-Fi is because in order to enable high quality of image and video feed, we have to use Wi-Fi. Bluetooth's not fast enough to do that. And so while this is on, when you're pairing the device, you can go into your settings to pair the device, you won't be able to use the internet. Uh, but then once it's off, your device can connect back to the, the internet using your standard Wi-Fi. So we'll go into the settings and then I'll connect to the camera the same way that I would with any other Wi-Fi network. And so what'll show up is habit camera underscore with a six digit uh, identifier specific to your device. And then when I connect to it, you can use the default password initially, which is just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then connect and it'll connect. And once we do that, I'm gonna open up the Habit Camera app. And what you should see is that the status LED will change from flashing blue to a different color. And now the camera is ready to use. And so like I mentioned, we've got the snapshot app, uh, snapshot button, excuse me, in the app. And then all the functionality is also replicated in the app itself. So if I want to set this up, what I can do is I can start and stop recording video. I can take photos using the button for the photo. I can adjust the brightness of the LED. There's four settings basically, uh, varying brightness levels from off all the way to the 100% brightness. I can rotate the image to make it easier to see. I can mirror the image so that if I'm looking behind me, it makes it a little easier to uh, orient the, the device. So I know left is right and right is left. Sometimes that can be a little challenging when you're, if you're looking behind you. Um, and then there's also voice control for different voice commands that we have. 
and temperature adjustments as well for the lighting and the temperature. Um, once I'm done taking video or photos, those videos and photos will then appear in the photo gallery. And I can select them the same way you would as any iOS or Android photos. Uh, but one thing that's very important that, that we share is that these photos don't automatically go into your photos folder. They're only available in the app. And we did that on purpose because we didn't want any pictures of your skin to be automatically uploaded into the cloud or iCloud or any of the, the photos uh, apps for your devices. And so you can share these easily via text or email using the Habit Camera app, but nowhere is your data being stored or uploaded uh, automatically. It's only if you choose to share it with someone via email or text message that those photos, those images, those videos are now shared uh, with whoever you choose to share them with. A similar functionality as the iOS Photos app and the Android Photos app, you can swipe, you can uh, edit video, excuse me, you can um, select multiple uh, images or videos and delete them or share them as required. And then lastly, we have a settings tab, which enables you to put in info if you choose to do so. Uh, again, we're not collecting any of this info, but if, if you want to do that, you can. Uh, you can enable the voice control. You can do different, you know, different functions as required. Um, and that's it. And that's how the app works. Uh, really excited about how this turned out. We'll continue to make updates to the app periodically uh, to improve the functionality of that, uh, of the different features that we have, and uh, really hope you enjoy it. And so check out our video tutorials at www.habitcamera.com. And uh, if you have any requests for help or support or want any additional feedback to be relayed to us, just email us, info at habitcamera.com. Thank you.